welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an exciting one because it is the first video I'm filming in my college dorm and it's also a sad one because it's the last video I'm filming in this college dorm. If you haven't seen my college move-in vlog, go check that out. I'll put it in the iCard right here and I mentioned in that video that my roommate that I was assigned with ended up not moving in. So it's been three weeks and I haven't had a roommate which has been really nice but I need to move to another dorm to have a roommate. Pretty sad because I'm gonna be leaving like my friends on this floor and I'll also not have like a single room anymore, but I'm not about to pay like hundreds of more dollars just to have a single room. Um, and it's also inconvenient because I won't be on the same side of the room so I won't have the same like setup. But because I love my setup in this room so much and I like put up all my posters and decorations and stuff, I wanted to document my room like the way that I wish I could have it and how um, aesthetically pleasing and beautiful it is. And I'll also do another dorm tour in that other room just to show you guys what it looks like when I'm in my other dorm with an actual roommate on the other side of the room. So that's all I gotta say now. Let's get started with this dorm tour. Oh, I also forgot one more thing. I'm a freshman at Western Kentucky University. I'm wearing a WKU shirt right now, but yeah. So that's all I gotta say for this intro. I know it was kind of long, so let's go ahead and get into the dorm tour. So starting at the door, here is just a nice overview of my room. So when I move into the other room, I'll be on this side and the gap between the door and the wall is smaller, so I won't be able to have my bed in the corner over here. On the back of my door, I just have these like six hooks and that's actually from Dollar Tree. Um, it didn't fit the door at first, so we just kind of like bent the wire differently to make it fit. But on here, I just have like some bags, my robe, some towels, and then moving over here, I just have rain boots because it rained the first day um, of classes and my feet were soaked, so I got some rain boots. And then I just have my microwave and fridge because our dorms don't come with them, so we have to bring them ourselves. So I have just this little mini General Electric fridge. Mainly I need it for my milk because I just love milk and it's just an essential in my life. And I have a few magnets. Um, there's one of Pope JP2 and of the Lion King. And then I've just been using this like as my bedside table, like kind of a catch-all place. So I just have like water bottle, chapstick tissues, chocolate, like my ID. Um, and then above that I have this Hakuna Matata poster and this was actually from Five Below. So Five Below hooking me up, but I kind of like how this is all like basically one color. And then all of this is like all the colors. So this is my, obviously my like bed area and it is just absolutely beautiful. This is 100% my like aesthetic and vibe. So the comforter is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it's just this really simple like kind of gray periwinkle color. It's not like super bright but it looks pretty with like the other colors and tones of blue. The blanket is just like a blue blanket. Um, and then this pillow is actually a pillow that my sister made because the comforter didn't come with a sham and no one in our house was using it so I just took it along with me. And then I have this little Pusheen, another cat, and then Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender. And then up here I have some string lights, and they just have some of my Polaroids on them of my friends and a few of myself because I'm a narcissist. I'm just kidding. And then I also have these colorful string lights that my friend Sylvan gave me. So if you're watching this, Sylvan, thank you so much. They're perfect, and I love them because I love color. I'm a very colorful person. So for all the posters that I have, the first one is actually the front page of a newspaper article that was about the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. And I thought it was cool, so I just stuck it on some cardboard and then stuck it on my wall. Then I have this poster of the solar system, but it's really like not exactly the solar system. Like you have the solar system there and then you have like the lengths, but it's like the sizes is the main thing. But I got that from an antique shop near my house. It's just like an antique style shop and there are some antiques there but obviously you can tell this one is an antique because it doesn't have Pluto on it and yeah I'm still hurt that Pluto was demoted. This painting is actually from Goodwill. 
This poster is from a Mowgli's concert. That is a coloring page from the Avatar The Last Airbender coloring book that I colored and I brought it with me because I couldn't find any Avatar posters that I liked. But I, Avatar is like my favorite show, so I had to have that on my wall somewhere. And then I have this beautiful poster. Um, it's called Tree of Peace and it's from allposters.com and I will put the link in the description. I got it on sale, so it was literally $5 and then there was like $2 of shipping. But it's one of those pictures that you look at it and every second you look at it, you're noticing like more and more things. It's just beautiful. And then I also have an Avengers Endgame poster that I got from going to the extended version of the movie. Then up here on my wardrobe, I just have my TV that I got for $5 at a garage sale. I'm so proud of that. And now like starting with this stuff underneath my bed, I just have my dresser in the top drawer. Um, I just have like bags and like my extra pair of sheets, set of sheets. And then I have like bathroom stuff here. So I have like my towels and then I have like my big bottle of Cetaphil because I just use like a small bottle, like a travel bottle and I just put that in there. So I don't have to take the whole thing to the bathroom, but I have like feminine products, medicine, makeup wipes, like shaving cream, just like stuff like that in here. And then the bottom drawer I have all my shoes in, except I have my shower shoes there and then those are the shoes I was wearing today. So that's where I keep them. And then I have this like wire cube organizer from Bed Bath & Beyond also. And then the beige bins are from Dollar Tree and the blue bins are from Five Below. And these ones are sturdier. They're smaller though. So I kind of like these better just because they fit more stuff, but they are pretty flimsy because they were only a buck. But um, in this one, I just have like food, the 12 pack of ramen from Aldi, like peanut butter, just like stuff like that. And then in here I have mainly my dishes. I have like plates, mugs, bowls, silverware, cups, water bottles, stuff like that. This one is normally empty, but it just has some dishes that I washed in there and I was too lazy to put them back in there. But when I need to like go wash dishes, I'll put my dirty things in here and then I'll just carry it with me like with my like dish washing supplies. And then in this bottom one, I have cleaning supplies. So like laundry detergent, delicates bags, some wipes and paper towels. Next to that, I have my chest, which I did a thrift flip on, and it was honestly a pretty cool thrift flip, so I'll put it in the iCard because I think it's super cool. Um, but I just have this here, and it has like backpacks and just like random things in it. I don't really get into it, um, but I just have like my pajamas there, and then I use this to step up onto my bed. Moving over from my bed area, it's like my desk and wardrobe area. So sorry about the sun right now. It's coming in at a, a sharp angle, but I don't really have anything up there except the TV. And then on the inside, we have a shelf on the top. And then I just have a few of these bins from Dollar Tree and I just have like socks in there and like underwear, bra, like spandex, like stuff like that in these two bins. And then I just have a random bin of stuff and then some bandanas. And then I just have all my hanging clothes. I have so much room and not the amount of clothes to fill this. So I have like t-shirts hung up and like down there is my not dirty but not clean pile. So it's, um, you know, just got my clothes. And then this top drawer has like the rest of my clothes. It has like pants here, which I haven't been wearing because it's been like 90 degrees out. And then I have shorts, tank tops, t-shirts, just, Pretty much the rest of the clothes I wear and then I have pajamas, athletic shorts, and leggings and then this second half is empty. Then moving on to my desk area, I just have my trash can there and then a Tennessee state flag um, hanging to cover up some of the cords that I have and on top of my bookshelf I have this really pretty canvas painting that I found at Goodwill. And then I have another bin from Dollar Tree and in there I have like a power strip that I'm not using and like my toolkit and stuff. And then on there I clipped on these little mini clothes pens and that's what I have my necklaces hanging from. And I actually also got those little mini clothes pins from Dollar Tree. And then I just have kind of random stuff on my shelf so I have like this jewelry bowl um, and then this little like tray that I have jewelry on but then also like rosaries and like 
religious medals along with like uno and just like a hat and a grammar book so this top shelf is just a random array of stuff the bottom shelf is a little more organized i have like body sprays i have makeup and this little organizer is from dollar tree i wish it was bigger but it was only a dollar so i can't really complain and then i have a jar for my makeup brushes i have these drawers with more makeup and then like nail file little perfume like and then this one it has hair stuff in it and then i just have some like notebooks back there and then this makeup mirror which is from aldi and it's the kind that you like press the button and it lights up and this was only $15, which is the cheapest place I could find this kind of mirror. If you want one of those, I'd go to Aldi. Then I just have like my laptop and my iPad and I have my desk lamp. This is from Walmart and it just has like outlets. So I have a phone charger in there and then I have some like pens and pencils in it because there's also space for that. Oh, on the side I have my Western towels. I actually have one more, but I keep it in my backpack just in case the need arises to um, swing around my towel and then I really don't have that much stuff in here mainly everything is like in this top drawer but I have like a hole puncher and like this container that I got from Dollar Tree for, with like washi tape and post-its and this um like correction tape and a little stapler I have this little cardboard box with more of those like pens this actually came on the colored string of lights but I took them off and then like all the rest of the little wooden clothespins and then I have this like organizer it's like a set with like paper clips and binder clips and thumbtacks and it's actually that like acrylic tray right there is actually just a lid to this um, but I also have you know like notepads and like my iPad like mount and then like just random stuff and this drawer it's just got like a bag of WKU papers and then the bottom drawer just has like a fan that I'm not using so there's nothing in there here is my window. I have a beautiful view and on the windowsill I have this really pretty painting of Nashville and I found this at Goodwill. And then I have this little letter board that my friend Sylvan gave me and then I have this little clock. And that's pretty much all for my side of the room. I have this rug that is from Ross and I just took it from my bedroom at home. Um, and then in this corner is just the extra bed. I have my laundry hamper there now. I normally have had my shower caddy hanging there, but I just moved it a few minutes ago when I made my bed. And I have this floor length mirror from Walmart. It was only $5, which is a great deal. And then I have this little stool from Five Below that it's propped on. Um, and then I have like lotion and stuff on there. And then here's the other desk. Like I said, I just have food on there, like dishes I need to wash, the recycling bin and then we're back to the door. So that was my dorm tour. Well, my first one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think of my dorm because a lot of people now just go for like minimalist or like cute trinket decorations, but I was like, give me some posters and that'll fill the whole space. So that's what I went for. I will have another dorm tour up at some point and it's coming, so get excited, I guess. I'm honestly kind of annoyed that I'm moving, but I kind of expected it, so. Comment below any college or fall or just life in general videos you want to see, and if you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button because we have fun on this channel. We do. That's all I have to say. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in my next video, maybe in my new dorm. Bye!